Imprisoned Pakistani origin Canadian businessman Tahawar Rana, who has uh, been wanted in India for several years for his involvement in the 2008 Mumbai terror attack, can now be extradited to India. U.S. court in California has ruled. Well, the judge uh, Jacqueline uh, Chuljin of uh, U.S. District Court in Central District of Los Angeles in the order has said that based on the foregoing, uh, the court concluded that the 62-year-old Rana is, uh, can be extradited uh, for the offences for which extradition has been requested and as to which, uh, on which uh, the United States is now proceeding. That's right. Let's go across to Nita now for more. And uh, Nita, this is some. It's a big, uh, you know, development for India, given that we've been wanting Tahawar Rana for so long, uh, considering his ma massive role that he played in the 2611 attacks. Absolutely, Gargi. It's a big victory for India. Uh, we have to remember that there is a, a treaty between India and United States of America and under that treaty, uh, the offences that uh, Tahavur Rana has been charged with is extraditable. So, the judge has clearly said that India had, uh, you know, uh, sent an arrest warrant there, NIA, the National Investigating Agency was pursuing the case and the charges that he has been framed for are quite serious. The charges that he has been framed for is waging war against India, conspiracy and also murder and committing terrorist act and conspiracy to commit terrorist act. So these are very heinous uh, charges. The judge obviously uh, held the ruling in India's favor. India is obviously excited about it because for last so many years they were trying to get Tahavur Rana. The trial of 2008 you know has almost come to a standstill because now India accuses both Pakistan also that uh, despite so many evidences given to Pakistan Pakistan has not been doing anything uh, as uh, against whom those those are uh, the mastermind who are still there in Pakistan as far as Tahavur Rana is concerned. He is considered a close associate of David Coleman Headley. In fact, it was uh, under his uh, his uh, uh, firm, a law firm under which uh, as a forged, uh, you know, as a forged front, uh, Headley was operating in Mumbai. So uh, five American uh, nationals were also killed in that attack in which uh, we had seen 166 people uh, were killed by 10 terrorists who had infiltrated across to India. India on 26th November so it's, it was a very dastardly uh, act now India is obviously elevated however the case is still going on against him in US also so pending trial he would be there but he has to submit before the Indian uh, court system also so the trial against Tahavur Rana could now start uh, as soon as possible NIA is obviously elated about this development Gargi